Rockies today uh, sign Ian Desmond, the former Ranger and National. Five years, reportedly $70 million. Now, this is going on while Edwin Encarnacion is sitting around looking for that long-term deal. Jay, what do you think? Is, is the Desmond deal a measuring stick of maybe seeing where the market is? Teams hesitant to give the five-year, $100-plus million dollar deal where it's going to take either less years or less money to get a deal done with someone like Encarnacion? I mean, it's tough to extrapolate too much from one deal. I mean, you look at Yoan Cespedes' deal, he got uh, the second highest uh, uh, annual salary of any position player ever. Um, you know, timing the market is everything, sure, but that's not the second best hitter in all of baseball. You know, so I, I think uh, the jury's still out. Now, with Encarnacion, Probably the top three or four teams that you would have expected to make a move for him have gone other directions. The Blue Jays uh, have already signed Morales and and, uh, and Pierce. Uh, the Astros signed Beltran. Uh, the Yankees signed uh, Matt Holliday. Uh, again, he's not a guy who really made sense for the Yankees. Uh, the Red Sox have said they don't want to make a huge uh, investment at DH to replace David Ortiz. They want to cycle guys through there. I think eventually Han Hanley Ramirez ends up there, uh, and he's still under contract for a couple more years. So. There's not there's not any obvious uh, spots for him. I know that the Indians have been talking to Encarnacion, mm -hmm. the Rangers uh, as well. Uh, I do think he gets paid, you know, probably with a contract that's not too different from what Cespedes got last year, uh, with an opt out early in it uh, and a chance to re-enter the market if he has another big season.